call me a clear. La body where me come from, from where me sit, me see everything clear. Me could have feel it in the air. Oh yeah, for you can't show me nothing. On the seaside, me ride the big bike. Real good loving me one the whole night. Money must come up, but we buy a higher height. Pour some drink, do you want some ice? Yeah. Only you know what to do, baby. Why you put me in the mood, baby? Baby, not tell no lie. Hey, hey, must it tell the truth? Only you know what to do. Why you pull me in the mood? My body's calling on your name. No, it's time for that altitude. I'll be the kind of girl where you need. Puff, puff, and smoke some push. Real bad man, give me a breathe. Care about better come up to pack you. Only me feel it kind of blue, baby. Ba- I'm your bad boo This kind of love what me got for you Sexy style and attitude You got me feeling kind of blue hey. Only you know what to do, baby Why you put me in the mood, baby Sexy style and attitude, baby Yes, I know, my listen audience is vibing to Aqua right now, and I just want to let you know that she is currently in studio, and I am going to have her come on in just in 60 seconds, so... If you guys need to check her out, while it is that um, you're listening and you would like to leave comments on our social media page, you're more than welcome to do so. The spelling of her name is A-K-L-E-R-H. We'll get into the pronunciation of the name, you know, in just a few minutes as well. And she is out of Ghana when you're talking about dance, soul, and Afrobeat. I am loving this track. I heard the track and I was like, what? Who is that? So, welcome, Akla. How are you? I'm blessed. Thank you. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> you are blessed. <laughs> you, yes. I have an audience who is appreciating this track, who is appreciating what you bring to the masses right now. And, of course, it was my first time hearing your music. Um, I must tell you, thanks for, you know, making great music. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, so our listening <laughs> audience, uh, to you know, the listening audience is currently sending in a few questions. There's going to be a few questions for myself and a few from our listening audience. Um, so, I, you, you know, as I've introduced yourself out of Ghana, um, right out the gate, I must ask, who inspired the music that you do? Who, who is that, that one person that inspires you? Wake up and you say, listen, this is my favorite artist right here. It makes me want to get into the booth and record everything that I do. I inspired myself. I look up to myself. Oh, I love it. You know, ask that question <laughs> yeah. at various times. You're the second artist that I've said I'm that. So, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> the reason why I, I, I said I am... Um, I, I inspire myself is because I want to do better every day. Mm-hmm. When I wake up in the morning and I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, oh, I want to do better than yesterday. So that's why I said I look up my my better self in the future. Yeah, that's who I look up to. I love it. I love the response, I must tell you. And, and not, you know, oh, um, there the, the are persons that might would have given that response and don't have anything to back up why they say it just because they're so into themselves. <laughs> But I love, <laughs> I, I love that you have a perfect response for why it is, you know, and a reason why as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. I must ask, I have never heard a recording of yourself. I wouldn't want to say that I know all the music, you know, or every artist mm-hmm. on the face of this planet, because then I wouldn't have a show. <laughs> I would be going in circles. <laughs> Um, yeah. But it's my first time hearing a record. Um, do you have other music that you have recorded before this recording? Um, that's out yes, there. Yes, I do. Oh, okay, okay. It's just that I stumbled yeah, up. I, mm-hmm. I had one single before um, Only You. 
It's called Born Rich. DJ Gashi hosted the rhythm. Yes. Big ups to DJ Gashi. He hosted the rhythm and I jumped on it and it was it was one of it, it was a compilation actually featuring some Jamaican artists and Ghanaian artists too. But my Born Rich was the most trained amongst um the the list of artists. The rhythm when he hosted it, yeah. So okay. Uh, amongst the list of artists, mine was the most streamed. It's called Born Rich by Akle, featuring DJ Gashi. Oh, awesome, awesome. Nice. Now, um, when you recorded that song compared to this song that we are currently listening to in the background, the name of this song, my audience, um, Big Ups to Rich, who was asking the name of the song, it's Only You. Okay, so based on the recording mm -hmm. you did with, um, before, prior to this one, would you say that um, it's a step up in terms of your recording? You 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 have grown. There is growth. Yeah, growth it, from that. Okay. Yeah, it is a step up. It is a major step up for me because moving from Fire Records, mm -hmm. where I previously was, um, and being signed to Revolution Records, which is a is a is a new record label right now in Ghana. There's there's they're using me as their first artist. To, to sell um, the whole brand and uh, the whole Acclair brand out to the world. Mm -hmm. So I say that is a major step because formerly when I was in Fire Records, big ups to Kojo Kombolo on Fire Records. Yes. It, um, things were in moving the way I thought it would and as fast as I wanted things to be. But then with only you in Revolution Records right now, things are moving smoothly and so far the audience are, are loving only you. Yeah. I love it, love it. So the track is a little bit of, um, you know, we have the Afrobeat and of course it is the reggae undertones going on there as well. What is your, do you have a favorite genre? Yeah, my favorite genre is reggae and dancehall. <laughs> reggae and dancehall. Mm -hmm. Who is your favorite yeah. reggae artist? My my favorite artist when it comes to reggae music is is Bob Marley. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bob Marley is my favorite. Uh -huh. And then when it comes to dancehall, the the whole dancehall thing, uh, I could say in this new generation of dancehall i like i love artists like dexter Dabs because he, re he he says things that i want to hear as a woman <laughs> yeah but then and when it comes to reggae music i i i, I choose bob marley okay I, you would agree that with dexter Dabs, it's not just about the dancehall but his music has substance you can it's not just it's not just Hello? putting out lyrics and you know repetitive lyrics it's not wrong with putting out repetitive lyrics but his song come with a storyline right and a movie <laughs> it comes with the storyline and a movie as well that um, Akla was having some connection issues, but of course she's back with us. So Akla, I was saying that um, with Dexter Dobbs, it is that, um, of course it is that, you know, his music comes with substance. He do have a storyline attached to, 
the music that he puts out and as well if you're lucky enough yeah. in, and watch his performances then you're also getting a movie <laughs> <laughs> yes big up to Dick Saddam yeah, <laughs> yes but yeah so I appreciate it I appreciate it wholeheartedly as well the, the different you know sides of reggae and I appreciate the fact that there are various persons across the world from different countries that um, celebrate this great music that we have as well have you ever been to Jamaica before no, no, but I hope to be there one day in the near future. In the near future. Um, Jamaica welcome you with hope yeah. and arms as well. Um, now, the, oh, this, <laughs> the only you song, let's talk about the song. Um, what is the message? Um, <coughs> what is the message within the song itself? If you have um, something to, um, in the back turned on like a phone or a radio, you can turn it off because I, I just echoed, okay? Okay. Yes. Can you give us, um, you know, the storyline um, about um, Only You for a listening audience? Um, the storyline is I was trying to appreciate, uh, let me say, the male figure in my life. Mm -hmm. yeah, I wanted to appreciate my king man by singing Only You to him and, and try to appreciate the kind of things he does for me on a daily basis. Yeah, so that's that's the reason why, and I wanted to only you to be an introductory song, and to tell people and um, tell Ghanaians and the world at large that this is what I I am. This is where I'm coming from. My roots is from Labadi in Accra in Ghana. So even when you watch the only you music video, you you, you see um, a, a very vivid story of how we we do our things way and um, back in the body and also appreciate the king figure in my life mm -hmm. i love it i love it <laughs> Akko, you're surprising <laughs> me today we don't have so many of you that come on this show you know that spit some facts here you know uh, <laughs> okay so i'm going to take two questions from my listed audience all right the first question is that um we have Stan again, Aldo Bontigo Ben, he would like to know if you had to collaborate with a if you had to collaborate with a Jamaica artist, who would it be? I'd like to collaborate with somebody like uh, someone like um, Skip Marley. Mm -hmm. Yes, I listen to his songs and uh, Black Hero. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, and also someone like Cynthia. Um, although she's big and now she's a global artist, I love to because people like that made um forged my kind of um people like Bob Marley, Barry Hammond, uh, Black Hero, and I, because I'm young, so I listen to various artists in Central to shaping because. And um, reggae dance originated from Jamaica, mm -hmm. and now it's in Ghana right now. And in Ghana, we have a lot of Rastafari mansions. And I don't want my background to be just from the Rastafari side. I want people to know that I am young and, and also willing to explore and also try the new things that is in the world and, and also make people hear my music. Yeah, so I like to see some people who like Shensia who have made an impact in Jamaican music industry and and bring that fight to Ghana. Yeah. Love it, love it. Um, we have Philip out of Ocherias, Jamaica. He says that, you know, I so often he has heard um, myself. No, I'm put on the spot. <laughs> he says so often <laughs> I've asked the question of Africans if they have been to Jamaica. But he would like to ask you if he, a Jamaican, wanting to come to Ghana um, to visit, what would be some of the selling points you would have for a Jamaican visiting Ghana? And we have a lot of tourist sites in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of um, Jamaican and um, Ghanaian restaurants. 
We have now Ghana. Ghana, we have approximately 600,000 tourists coming into Accra alone every single day. Wow. Yes, according to statistics. Yes. So when it comes to Ghana, we're not going to have a ball moment. I have friends like Sasha, Shama, and a male Shama and a female Shama right here in Ghana right now. They came to visit me. Oh, uh, wow. So, yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have a dull moment. <laughs> Ghana is, is, is like, it's like Jamaica. Ghana, Accra, Accra is like Jamaica. Everywhere you go in Ghana, it's like Jamaica. So you feel at home when you come back to Ghana and you have people like me to take you around. I have a lot of, a lot of people that are willing to take you uh, out on, mm-hmm. on a tour for free. Yeah. So, you you know you should try coming to Ghana. <laughs> no, I've been to Ghana. I've been to Ghana as well. But let me tell you, I as I've always say to my listening audience, when you go to Africa, it's like no matter what country I go to, and I and, and they don't I, like I'm just walking the streets or going in a business place or whatever. They always play reggae. Mm-hmm. They always playing reggae music. So it's like more reggae is played. Um, than the traditional music. How much reggae do you, yeah. how much do you how much reggae do you consume on a weekly basis or a daily basis? On a daily basis, I have a playlist. I play a lot of artists. I play when I wake up in the morning. I play Morgan Charity as my worship song. To, 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 I love to give thanks to my creator for another day. Uh-huh. And then I go on my day the Larry Hammond, the Love is Rock, the King Beanie Man. Um, I play Masika, Jay the Kingdom. I play a lot of artists. Sometimes my manager is like, play you a little. And I also play my songs also. That's so right. That I get the balance because I'm Libra, so I also have that balance. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my God, Akwa, you got to. Um, are you working on anything um, like for summer? You know, of course it is that we 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 are different in terms of the summer months. So I shouldn't say summer. Yeah. But what do you have in terms yeah. of projects that are coming up? Are you working on an EP or an album? Um, we just currently released uh, um, like only you music video. I think uh, two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Yes. So um, I'm also working on dropping an EP mm-hmm. before the year runs out, and also um, feature a couple of lead artists, them big artists in Ghana right now, like Stone Boy. I want to feature someone like Stone Boy, and then I featured Jali. There's, a, there's an artist in Ghana called Jali. I'm aware of Jali right now. Yeah, people should check him out. He's a good one too. I featured him on my new song La Valley Girl. So it's going to be massive. It's a hardcore dance style. When you hear it, you're gonna love it. <laughs> yes, I'm familiar with Jali. He's a good artist actually. Um Yeah. Okay, so we have an EP to look forward to. So when you um get ready to release that EP um, I will welcome you back to the show where it is that we have more music and a longer interview for our listening audience. Yeah, that can yeah. tap in and listen yeah. to more of Akler because right now people are requesting more music and would like to hear more about you, more of your music and also to know more about you. So for the persons who would like to know more about you, can you share with the listening audience your um social media handles and you can as well give your shout out on social media you can follow Akle Music on all social media platforms on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram you can follow Akle Music and the authentic voice of Labad so you have to have a feel if you want to have a feel of Akle you can follow me on Instagram Akle Music, Twitter everywhere and then also stream my song Only You so that you can enjoy the kind of vibes I bring. I, I always bring positive vibes and carry my A game. And also right now I want to give a shout out to my father, Daddy Bosco. And give a shout out to my mother, Revolution Records, my record label. And give a shout out to my glam team because they're always working to make me look good. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my daughter, Makida. I love you so much. 
Well, so give you a shout out then, Sister Rose, <laughs> for giving me this opportunity. Yes. I Thank love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love what it is that you have done with this song as well. And I will most definitely, well, we're already following you on social media, but I most definitely will be checking out things that you have going on for the future. And I'm looking forward to the CP. I'm excited for you. And I'm excited to hear what you have to give. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for coming through. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Mine. I'm honored. Yes, so to our listening audience, keep vibing to Akla. We'll be right back. Boy, you put me in the mood, baby. Sexy style and attitude, baby. Not tell no lie, hey, hey. Must be tell the truth. Only you know what to do. Boy, you put me in the mood. My body's calling on your name. No, it's the fear that attitude. I be the kind of girl where you need Puff, puff and smoke some push Real bad man give me a breed Get back better to my super glue Only me feel it kind of blue Baby, back, back me your back boo Real kind of loving what me got for you Sexy style and attitude You got me feeling kind of blue Hey, Only you know what to do Baby Why you put me not disappoint i am loving what she is about and what she brings to the masses <laughs> if you please go out and check her out across social media platforms okay it's a k l e r h check her out across social media platforms you can reach out to her tell her you know you listen to her interview and uh, what your thoughts are on their interview as well as the song i'm loving that song only you so I played a few times this weekend. To a listening audience, as you know, we reward our listening audience. So for everyone who would like a copy of Only You, please hit me up. I will be gifting 10 copies of Only You. 10 copies, Only You, so hit me up and I will make it happen. Okay? Well, stay tuned. We're at the 3 o'clock hour. Okay? We are going to be vibing with Jatong out of Australia. But before Jatong comes on, all right, we have songs songs of introduction before he comes into our studio and of course one of my favorites uh, they're all my favorite by the way but one specific song that's my favorite we are going to tap into just a few minutes keep it locked Jatong is going to be up in just a few minutes <laughs> <laughs> 